nope, mm -mm, nope, not gonna happen. You thought you were gonna have fun playing a video game like this? No, no, not even close. You're gonna have the opposite. Because we're talking, of course, about King K. Roller 2. Now, first off, before you say it, yes, I know this game's supposed to be rage inducing because I read the article right here that says, quote, this adventure includes nine rage inducing levels, which is true, but it also says this, it is much more fair, right? Fair than the previous installment, which I do not recommend you play. Now I took personal offense to this because I really liked King K. Roller 1 and speed ran it a lot. And I liked it because it was fair, but difficult at the same time. And for the developer himself to come out and say that King K. Roller 1 is not fair and King K. Roller 2 is very fair. Now that's some fucking bullshit. And I really want to talk about that. So let's get right to it. King K. Roller 2, love you. Now, I just want to explain to you why this game is unfair and what parts in particular I think are the most unfair. Like the fact that there are no checkpoints whatsoever, which makes levels like level four very, very, very difficult because level four is very long and very hard. Like you'll go through all this bullshit, get on this bullshit cube thing, do the bullshit rolly thing, and then get to the fucking sand part and then like slip a little and then you're done and then you have to do it all again. Now if that just doesn't scream fair to you, I, I just don't know what will. I Honestly, I don't know what will. And another thing, fall damage. Why would you add fall damage to a game like this? It's like adding fall damage to Mario fucking Odyssey. It's stupid. And another thing, your Remy's or your Jiggies don't save on levels where you need them. So if you're on, say, three Remy's, it took you an hour to get those three limp Remy's, and then you, like, slip off the edge, you're done. You have to do it all over again, and it is draining. And I don't know if these were oversights, or he just didn't know how to implement some of the things that I want, like checkpoints, or having your Remy save after you die. Or, hell, maybe they're intentional, I don't know. But that doesn't change the point that these are completely dog shit additions to the game. But despite these very crucial flaws, it still plays pretty well and looks very colorful and a lot better than the original King K. Roller. I also like some of the dialogue, like uh, like when you go up to this toilet and ask him why he's sad and he, he tells you that his bully stole his fucking egg sandwich. And, and King K. Roller's response is, oh no. This is worse than the Holocaust. <laughs> okay. For this dialogue, we have two options we can go go with here to interpret this. We can either interpret as, Damn, King K. Rool has some fucking... Some really fiery opinions on the Holocaust. Or this was sarcasm. I'm, I'm gonna go with the sarcasm one, but I feel like, uh, I, feel like I wouldn't put it past King K. Rool to have some fiery opinions about the holocaust. And now for an overall score, I'd probably give it a 65% out of 100. Because for what I assume to be a single developer game that's intentionally supposed to make you rage, I'd say it looks pretty good and does a pretty good job with that. So yeah, you can find this game for free on the Xbox store if you want to play it. And please subscribe, comment, like, do, do something. Because uh, I put quite a bit of time in this video. Also, I feel like it should be said that I stream this game and you can find the streams by me on Patra Live. And yeah, that's really all I got for you. So, peace.